The article title, Purpose of the Communication Between Companies and Their Facebook Followers, presents the result of a research study carried out by Gabriel Valerio, Dagoberto Herrera, Natalia Herrera, and Francisco Martinez, all members from the Tecnológico de Monterrey. Every day, millions of Internet users around the world use social networks to connect with their friends, share their opinions, and participate in multiple conversations about a wide variety of topics. This phenomenon is also having a massive impact in the way the companies and their brands are perceived and the way their clients communicate with them. Therefore, companies of all sizes and lines of business are tempted by the potential benefits of the massive adoption of this medium. However, many executives are unable to effectively identify the opportunities and threats related to social networks, partly due to the lack of understanding of their structure and operation. For many companies, online social networks are a marketing tool and their key challenge is to identify and organize the appropriate mix of elements such as uh, advertising, public relations and promotion which allow companies uh, to always be present in the minds of consumers. However, it is important uh, to recognize that the scope of the opportunities offered by online social networks goes beyond the noticeable unidirectional nature of uh, traditional marketing. It is now possible to establish an exchange of information and experiences. This involves uh, refining the ability of companies to listen and respond uh, to their clients' requests, and it is here where customers' uh, service system come into play. The eruption of the uh, customer service is not an issue that should be taken lightly. A growing number of uh, consumers prefer to use online social networks to talk directly to companies more than the traditional challenge uh, channels uh, such as uh, telephone calls, emails and printed forms. Based on this, websites like Facebook and Twitter have the potential to become uh, basic communication channels, not only with individuals, but also with consumers and companies. However, uh, companies have not managed uh, to fully integrate uh, online social networks with the traditional platforms to manage interaction uh, with clients. This scenario is an area of uh, opportunity for organizations seeking uh, a way to, to make a difference of their services based on the understanding of the conversation generated in this media. Therefore, uh, the objective of this research was to achieve a greater understanding of the conversation that Mexican uh, telecommunication companies and their users maintain over the Facebook pages of the former. Uh, to meet this uh, research objective, we formulated uh, the following questions. First, what is the purpose of the, public of the publication made by telecommunication companies? And second, what is the purpose of the publication made by the users of the uh, telecommunication uh, companies? To answer this question, this study adopted an essentially a qualitative methodological approach. Data was collected through a consultation carried out through Facebook query language, FQL. Uh, four Mexican telecommunication companies participate in the study, and data were subjected uh, to content analysis in order to categorize the publication or post made by both the companies and their users. The results suggest that telecommunication companies use Facebook mainly for managing public relations, advertising and promotion activities, uh, while their users use them primarily to report incidents and problems and make complaints and questions. This result allow us to conclude that social networks can be an excellent source of valuable information for companies. This study showed that it is possible to collect, analyze, and identify the behavior patterns of companies and their uh, consumers. This information could help companies to ensure that the activities that they carry out in this uh, media is aligned to their business strategy. The enormous amount of information generated by online social networks is a fertile field for a multitude of tools and analysis procedures. Our research showed that Facebook is a platform where companies' uh, customers report incidents and problems about products and services, ask questions about issues related to the company's line of business, and make complaints. The overwhelming uh, majority of the analyzed message 
were posted for these purposes, while the addressing of other topics such as uh, socialization of brands was secondary. This information has large implication since uh, it is a way to get direct feedback about the reception of product and services and about incidents that could be affecting their quality negatively or positively. On the other hand, companies' posts are directed mainly to strain it, the emotional bonds with the fans of the brand as well as the straightened advertising and promotion effectiveness. Given this difference in terms of communication purpose between the analysis companies and their customers, the most suitable suggestion for companies is to reinforce the use of online social networks as a customer service platform. In this way, companies could maintain or improve their digital reputation and retain customers. Also, as uh, Wayne Bird and Pellingham have, have pointed out, Advertising, promotion, and public relations are essential components of any online social network management model. Customer service must not be treated as a secondary activity. Creating a profile on online social network and publishing content in it without paying attention to what the public says is clearly insufficient. An unsatisfactory experience in any of the company's communication channels can lead uh, customers to stop using the company's services or products, migrate to the competition, or to tell another customers or potential customers about the negative experience. In either case, this could affect the profitability and survival of a business. Given this situation, we conclude that at least for the types of companies under analysis, having a poorly managed presence in online social networks can be worse than not having any presence.